Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to my preview of Liverpool uh, travelling to Swansea City on Monday night. It's a team we've played against quite recently. We beat them 5-0 at Anfield and, you know, they're the worst team in the league. We're in great form. On paper, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, but obviously, we, we, we know better than that. It's never always that easy. But, um, and apologies for not really doing any videos this week. I mean, it's January, it's a transfer season. I expect it to be, I expect it to be a bit more active, but... It's just been very quiet, to be honest. I mean, I've, I've kind of, um, we had the Naby Keita stuff last Friday, and I made a video talking about um, how it was possible that he was going to come in, because, you know, somebody on Twitter, Chris Williams, who is reliable, uh, or, or was before that, um, he obviously has been fed that information, um, he's tweeted it out, and don't know whether there were changes since then, or whether he was told the wrong information, but uh hasn't happened yet uh and by yet i mean probably it won't happen um so liverpool probably have this squad for the remainder of the season uh what is for sure is they have this squad for swansea on monday um and i expect them to be pretty much unchanged from the side that beat man city so gloriously last weekend in that 4-3 game probably the best game of the season um probably liverpool's best performance of the season beating uh, the, the champions elect 4-3 should have been a, a wider margin, but we'll take the win nonetheless. Um, you know, Carius in goal. The, the only the only real transfer story, um, well, the, the stories have been outgoings really. Carius um, is back in as number one, so Minule wants out seemingly. Daniel Sturridge wants out, um, so those two guys. You know, might, might be on their way out. Sturridge looks more likely in this window, uh, and if we do sell him this window, then surely we should be replacing him because him and um, him, Slanky and Firmino are our only number nines. You know, Danny Ings is there, but um, whether he's ready or you know whether whether he even counts to an extent because he's been injured for so long. Not don't mean to be disrespectful. I like Danny Ings, but um, I, I wouldn't be particularly comfortable going into the latter stage of a Champions League campaign with just Firmino, Slanky, and Ings as our number nines. I know you can play Salah up there, but I'm digressing. Um, so let's go into the predicted eleven. I, I think it's going to be unchanged. So you know we're looking at Carius, uh, Gomez, Matip. Sorry, not unchanged because Van Dijk's going to come in for Lovren. So other than that, unchanged. So Carius. Gomez, Matip, Van Dijk, Robertson, Chan, Vijnaldum, Oxley, Chamberlain, Mane, Salah, Firmino. I think that's going to be the eleven. I know Lovren and Clavin have had a, have had a bit of illness, so I, I, it makes sense for them to miss out if Van Dijk's back fit. He's been in training, so I assume he's fine to go, raring to go. Um, Swansea will probably go four five one with um, either McBurney or or Ayu up, up top or, or Bonnie maybe. Uh, Bonnie hasn't quite hit the ground running there since his return, so I think it will be McBurney, but. Really, it shouldn't matter. I mean, of course you've got to do your homework on your opponents, and I've seen bits of Swansea. They are the worst team in the league. They got a new manager. They're going to be somewhat organised and um, revitalised from that. But we just got to go there and have too much for them. If, if they sit deep, then you know, once we break them down once, which I think we've got enough quality to do, then it should be a breeze from there. I don't want to underestimate Swansea because they beat us at Anfield last season. Uh, they almost beat us at home as well last season. We, we came back to beat them 2-1 at the Liberty, so... Um, they were, I won't miss them if they go down, because they do often give us a tough game. Um, but uh, we beat them 5-0 recently, um, and look, we're the informed side in the Premier League. Um, winning game after game, unbeaten in 18. Uh, yes, we've lost Coutinho, but... Uh, Oxley Chamberlain stepping in. Oxley Chamberlain's become the greatest midfielder in Europe all of a sudden, so um, I think we're going to be okay. I actually think we're going to win about 4 0 on Monday night, to be honest with you. Uh, and then, then it's the FA Cup, uh, and then we've got some tough games after that. And February's going to be a huge month with Spurs uh, at Anfield with the Champions League against Porto. Um, so, lots to look forward to, but for now, it's. I, I mean, all our rivals have won this weekend up to now, so. Uh, it's it's very important that we that we kick on and make sure we don't uh, don't let the likes of Arsenal back in, even Spurs who play tomorrow against Southampton. Uh, but Arsenal have won well today. You know they're, they're losing Sanchez, but they're going to get Mkhitaryan and they might get a Bemiang, which seems like a crazy one to me. I mean, he seems like a far fetched one for 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 a club of Arsenal's kind of level at the moment. Um, you know, he'd be a coup for any Premier League side. So for him to go to Arsenal, who aren't in the Champions League now and don't look like they're going to be in the Champions League next season. Uh, you have to question his motives and sort of 
what's going on there. It's very unlike Arsenal to go and get a man who's been linked with like of Real Madrid so heavily. Um, all the top clubs in the world. He probably is in the top five centre fours in the world. Um, you've got so much about him. He's quick, he's big, he's, he's a wonderful, wonderful player. And I'm surprised Liverpool haven't gone in harder for him in the last 12 months or so. Uh, albeit he may be, uh, or Klopp maybe is happy with Firmino, and I mean, as we should all be, but uh, as another option, as another player in that sort of front four or front three to have in there, uh, he would be perfect. But I guess the, the wages he commands. We don't tend to pay that high, Arsenal do, so there it is what it is, but United have won, they've got a great result away at Burnley, 1-0, um, Chelsea are back to winning ways, so look, it's crucial that we go to Swansea and win, This can, I know I'm, I might sound complacent, I think, we're gonna, I think we are going to go there and win 4-0, but uh, the players obviously are the more, more important ones and, and they're going to have to be right on it. Uh, not underestimating Swansea because they're scrapping for their lives. Quite a few sides down the bottom have picked up points this weekend, um, even if it is just, just just the odd point. But Swansea can't afford to drop even the odd point at this stage. So um, at home on a Monday night under the lights, I'm going to be there. So there'll be a day trip video. Um, leave a comment with your predictions, I suppose. I mean, it's, it's been it's been a week off. We're having a good time to prepare for this, just like we had a good week to prepare for Man City, and then we're gonna have another week or at least five or six days to prepare. Uh, for West Brom in the FA Cup, uh, so that's lovely. And no, no, no League Cup distractions or anything like that. Let's just get Swansea out of the way and go from there. It's, it's bottom of the league, Swansea. Um, we should be going there and uh, winning with a plum and getting back up into sort of third place in the league and being hot on the hills of Man United. I still think we can catch. Um, look, if there's any transfer videos to come, there is transfer videos to come. I don't think there's going to be any more news, but really. In terms of incomings between now and the end of the month, if there is, then great. But hopefully we're not all too downbeat about that. Hopefully we're all upbeat about the fact that the Reds are playing so, so well. And we're going to go to Swansea and win. Leave a comment with your predictions. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Mice saying all of those. And I'll see you next time.